I found out that I was being eminent domain by the author of a news article that was coming out that day. They called me, he called me up in the morning and said, I'm publishing a, uh, an article today from the city of San Antonio saying they're gonna to vote to eminent domain you next week at the city council meeting. I had eight days and three minutes to talk in front of council to, to, to try to save my business and my property and everything that I've been working for the last 15 years. I'm Vince Cantu, I'm the owner of Moses Rose's Bar and Grill. Big government's trying to take my property and uh, I, I think that's wrong and I'm here to talk about it. So I'm downtown San Antonio, I'm a half block from the Alamo. Um, so it's already in a really, really great spot, but they're about to put a $600 million museum next to me. So eminent domain is when a government decides they need your property and if you don't want to sell it or they don't, in my case, if they don't like the price that, they, that I have on it, then they can move in and condemn it and take it from you. Um, they appraise it at today's value. So the current status of um, our, my situation with the state of Texas and the city of San Antonio is um, we've sort of entered into a eminent domain phase where the, the protocol is, is that they give me a first offer. This is how all eminent domain works in Texas anyway. They give me a first offer called the initial offer, even though I've already had five offers. This is eminent domain law. And uh, then by statute, they have to wait 30 more days before they give me the final offer. And then if I refuse both those offers um, and we don't come to some sort of settlement, then they file a lawsuit 14 days later by statute. They can't do it before that. They can do it after that. They cannot do it at all. But I mean, by statute, they have to give it at least 14 days, file, file a lawsuit against me to condemn my property. And then that goes in front of three judges, arbitrators, really, the way it works in Texas. So right now we're in between the initial offer and the final offer are about halfway in between. Um, I've been working with the state to try to uh, to try to negotiate a price that would, uh, to me, be fair to me and my family. The value of my property is going to skyrocket. This properties all around me are going to skyrocket because it's the biggest attraction they built downtown San Antonio in 100 years, you know, almost. So I want the I want the future value as well as today's value if I'm going to walk away from it because to me it's a uh, it represents a generational property. It's a property that I could run the rest of my life, whether I wanted to work there or not. I could just lease it out um, to a Starbucks or to a franchise that wants to be right there by the Alamo. Uh, my kids could have it as well in their family and it could be producing um, generational wealth for my whole family for, you know, for forever, really, as long as there's an Alamo. And a lot of people have asked for, uh, for you know, answer to that. You know, what are you asking for? What's, what's the number? And uh, it is awkward because, or, nor, you know, normally you wouldn't be um, negotiating this in the press or, you know, uh, openly like this. And, um, but the state of Texas, they published the number that I asked for initially. They asked me for a number three, three and a half years ago. Um, and I told them I would sell it for $10 million for the property, $5 million for the uh, business. And that was kind of like my starting point. That was where we, uh, my wife and I decided we'd start, but they never responded to that. And uh, like two years after we gave them that number, the first time they ever responded to it was in the paper saying, oh, this guy wants $15 million. Oh, he wants $17 million now. Um, he, won't, he won't negotiate. He, you know, we're at an impasse because he wants too much money. If you combine it with my business as well as my property, because I own both the real estate and the business that's inside of it, um, I would you know, definitely say that the business is going to be worth around 4 million and the property is going to be worth over 5 million if you look out five and 10 years from now. And um, my neighbor who doesn't own any property, he leases a, he leases a property from the state, um, was bought out of his lease. He had five years left on his lease and the state gave him $10 million. 4 million is a nice start for sure. It's a lot of money. I'm not denying that, but um, it's, it's not 10 million. And the guy that they got 10 million didn't even own property. So I think that um, they should be treating me with the kind of respect and um, honor that, 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 that my neighbor got. Um, so I'm going to fight for that.